good morning students hope you all are fine at home and hope you might have done all the problems that i have given to you as homework so today we are going to see how we have to treat the consumable items in the final accounts of non not for profit organization consumable items for example sports materials if it is the sports organization sports materials will be bought what are the sports materials that they buy maybe the bats and balls then nets all other materials they may purchase for their use so this expenses that they spend on this bats balls net must be entered in the income and expenditure account here already we might have purchased some bats and balls nets then this year we may uh, purchase and we will use them at the end also we will have some bats and balls we never throw after using for one year so how to treat them that is what we are going to learn here only one formula you have to learn that first lesson we have learned you know that the uh, closing capital add drawings like that one equation you have to uh, learn here that consumption con the how much we have consumed or how much we have used that only must be written in the income and expenditure account so we need to calculate the consumption consumption is equal to opening stock whatever item it is okay maybe the bats and balls or uh, maybe the stationery stationery also we may purchase and we use again we will have some stock in hand so for any that uh, uh, revenue items that we are using we have to use this formula consumption of that particular material is equal to opening stock add purchases during the year add purchases minus closing stock now we will get what we have consumed what we have used on that particular year so this one we need to write in the expenditure side debit side understood then this closing stock this closing stock will appear in the balance sheet on the asset side understood so to calculate how much we have used we need to apply this formula opening stock add purchases minus closing stock then only this closing stock will be appearing in the balance sheet okay so i will show one problem for you illustration 30 illustration 13 how will the following item items appear in the final accounts of a sports club particulars rupees stock of sports materials 1 4 2018 this one is opening stock okay 3000 then sports materials purchased purchases 9000 sale of old sports materials this okay this i will tell you sale of old sports materials already we learned this one that will appear on the income side okay income side then stock this is the closing stock why by now we need to calculate okay how will the following items appear in the final accounts that means first income and expenditure account then balance sheet okay i will show you first income and expenditure account for the year ended 31st march 2019 okay then expenditure income debt or credit or rupees to amount column in the income side only one amount column they have given okay
to sports materials consumed. That is what we need to write first. Okay, sports materials consumed. Now we should write that formula. Opening stock. Write the amount in the inner column. Add purchases during the year or purchased in the current year. 9,000. Add and write. Then less closing stock. Write the net amount in the outer column. One item given by sale of old sports materials 500. Understood? Very simple. That's why I am showing in this textbook itself. Okay. Because uh, we need to complete this uh, full portion by November. That is what they have told us. Okay. We need to go fast. If you don't understand any problem, you, are, you can ask me or uh, you have all the problems if I have to uh, write and show in the notebook, then you tell me. Okay. Now the balance sheet. Balance sheet as on 31st March 2019. No debt or credit or assets rupees rupees. Here liabilities rupees rupees. Only the stock of sports materials. That one which is stock. Closing stock. Okay. This 4000 we have to write. Okay. In the same way the next illustration is also given. You see. From the following details calculate the printing and stationery. To be debited to income and expenditure account and also show how it will appear in the balance sheet as on 31st March 2018. Amount paid for stationery during 2017-18 1500. Stock of stationery on 1st April 2017 300. Stock of stationery on 31st March 2018, 200. So now we have to write. For what is the question? Calculate the printing and stationery to be debited to income and expenditure account. So we need to prepare first income and expenditure account for the year ended 31st March 2018. Then show how it will appear in the balance sheet. Both we need to show. Okay. First, income and expenditure account for the year ended 31st March 2018. Debt are, credit are, income, rupees, rupees, here, expenditure, rupees, rupees. Stationary consumed. We need to calculate. Okay. Then, opening stock. How much given? Opening stock, 300. You write that one. Then, add purchases. Purchases, amount paid for stationary. That one. Amount paid for stationary. 17,18,500 that you add. Okay. Amount paid for stationery means we purchased and paid amount. Okay. That is that is the implied meaning. So purchases. Then add and write. Less closing stock. The last one. 200. Then what is the net amount? 1,200. Then this closing stock will appear in the balance sheet. Balance sheet as on 31st March 2018. Liabilities rupees, assets rupees. Only at the asset side, stock of stationery 200. Okay, students. Now we will learn about the treatment of income and expenses pertaining to specific fund. There are some specific fund in the uh, not for profit organization. They will raise that particular fund for particular purpose. Uh, this will not be shown in the income and expenditure account. Already we learnt that all related to that because it is a capital nature. So it will not appear in the income and expenditure account. Now we will see how it will be. It will be appearing in both the income and expenditure account or you, surely it will not be in the income and expenditure account. It is appearing only in the balance sheet. Capital expenses will be appearing only in the balance sheet. How we should treat? Because income also we have, expenses also we have. When we raise this fund, it is called fund, isn't it? So fund is a liability. Where we should show this fund in the liability, specific fund. Any, any fund, maybe the price fund, 
in order to pay the prices they will create one fund a big amount okay so fund will be the liability if we invest that fund amount in investment so that is called specific fund investment then investment is an asset where we should show in the asset side of the balance sheet okay now the first one fund liability side that is special fund investment on the asset side now we have to treat the income and expenses of the special fund a specific fund the income what we should do the income income should be added with the fund this one is separate okay asset nothing will be adjusted all adjustment will be done along with the specific fund okay income should be added with the specific fund on the liability side then the expenses must be deducted means expenses must be expenses must be deducted then if any interest accrued interest we will receive no interest accrued that should be added along with the fund that we we need to receive isn't it so it, it should be added along with the fund only interest accrued but not received and actually any uh, interest accrued but not received you know this will be shown on the asset side also same thing will be shown on the asset side up to here we will add along with the fund on the liability side then we should like this you know asset side fund we will show uh, investment we will show on the asset side but interest uh, accrued on the specific fund investment may be added along with the specific fund investment or we can write separately interest accrued but not received because it is an asset okay interest accrued but not received we have to write this on asset side so asset specific fund investment one and interest accrued we need to write these two in the asset side okay then specific fund should be appearing in the liability side and that specific fund you have to write along with that one you must add the income related to that fund and we should deduct less okay the expenses related to that fund and any interest accrued but not received also must be added along with the fund but the same amount will be written on the asset side interest accrued but not received okay so uh, automatically it gets cancelled okay this uh, this side also we write that side also we write so it is becoming equal now i will explain the 15th illustration for you how will the following appear in the final accounts of a club for the year 2017 18 particulars price fund 60000 price fund investment 60000 interest received on price fund investment 6000 price distributed 8000 donation received for price fund 12000 so how this will appear just we will have a glance okay price fund as uh, that the way i have to taught you so we should write this one on the liability side price fund isn't it then this price fund investment where it will come in the asset side then interest received on price fund investment we should add okay we should add then price distributed must be deducted yes the donation received again we need to add that's all okay is it easy for you 
so now i will show that in the illustration solution in the book itself okay see balance sheet as on 31st march 2018 assets rupees rupees liabilities rupees rupees price first price fund okay price fund we have to write price fund how much 60000 write that one in the inner column then which one then next we can write this price fund investment only one item so write price fund investment outer column 60000 then the next one interest received on price fund investment 6000 add interest received on price fund investment 6000 then one more addition is here isn't it that also you can write add donation for price fund received 12000 add everything together we get 78000 then less prices distributed 8000 so 70000 okay net amount 70000 here 60000 that's all okay students you might have understood i think even like this small uh, that uh, problems for uh, two mark three mark they may ask if you don't understand this small problem only i am uh, showing in the book itself if it is very big problem i will uh, do and show in the next classes okay if you don't understand really you can ask me again i will do and show to you okay students now we will see how to prepare the balance sheet preparation of balance sheet is similar to the balance sheet that we pre pre prepare for the trading concern okay it is having all the assets on the asset side asset side then liabilities on the left left hand side right hand side will be written all the assets left hand side liabilities but only different is that capital fund there we write simply capital isn't it but here we should write the capital fund along with this capital fund we have to add the surplus if it is deficit that will be deducted as same as the capital that we treat in the balance sheet of trading concern trading concern what we will do Uh, we that we here the capital fund means open okay that is the along with the opening capital what we will do we will add the profit or deduct the loss and any interest on capital the last year you have studied isn't it interest on capital will be added then then what will be deducted from there from the capital interest on drawings and drawings these two we will deduct if any loss that also we will deduct here only one item along with the opening capital fund we need to add the surplus if it is we calculate the surplus we need to add okay here sometimes they may not give the capital fund as if we calculated in the uh, first lesson first lesson uh, if the capital is uh, not given we need to uh, that calculate the capital what we did we will write all the assets on the asset side then all the liabilities that is given on the liability side then the difference will be the capital fund isn't it opening capital the same way we need to calculate if they ask us to compute opening capital fund we need to calculate that one okay what is that formula what is the, what is that one assets assets in the opening period and minus liabilities we will get opening capital fund okay that i will show in the book the illustration compute capital fund of karur social club as on 31st march 2018 particulars as on 31 march 
furniture fifty thousand, buildings forty thousand. Subscription outstanding for the year seventeen eighteen. Okay, the current year ten thousand. That uh, particular as on thirty one March two thousand eighteen means the current year is two thousand seventeen eighteen. Okay, so this is outstanding for the current year. Subscription received in advance for eighteen nineteen. So next year subscription received. Then loan borrow investments cash in hand. Then cash at bank. Now what is asked? Compute capital fund. We need to calculate the capital fund. So we have to prepare the balance sheet as on thirty first March two thousand eighteen. Okay. Then the assets rupees liabilities rupees you have to write okay the particulars then the asset said we can write you start with the cash in hand that is what we used to do isn't it the uh, short term that current assets we need to write first okay so first cash in hand that you write then cash at bank you write. Or in this way also you can write. It is not uh, wrong. Okay, no, they will not cut and keep. Okay, write from the beginning also. Furniture, buildings. Then here subscription outstanding. This one outstanding is an asset, isn't it? So asset side we should write subscription outstanding. The subscription received in advance. That is liability. Right here the loan borrowed. That is also asset liability. Then investment asset. And cash in hand, cash at bank. Now you add and find out the difference. The opening balance sheet. We need to calculate the capital fund. When we prepare the closing balance sheet, then that is the balance sheet that we prepare after the preparation of income and expenditure account. Okay, that balance sheet. We know already. Just simply, I am telling you, because after this, uh, we are going to prepare both income and expenditure account and balance sheet together. So, just a recollection. We and I am explaining what and all will be coming in the balance sheet. Okay, all the items in the income and expenditure account we have learned. Then, what are the adjustments that we uh, we need to make? Everything we have seen. So now you know balance sheet. What are the items will be appearing? Isn't it? You have to write balance sheet as on the thirty first March two thousand eighteen like that. Then assets, then liabilities. Left hand side. Okay. Then all the assets. First of all, we will start cash in hand, cash at bank, isn't it? All the closing, closing amount, cash in hand. Cash at bank. Then all the assets, fixed assets. For example, furniture, building. It is not for profit organization. So here, machinery and all will not come. Okay, furniture, building, then office equipments. Office equipment. Then, for any uh, this adjustment, no, for furniture, they may if there is depreciation, we have to make adjustment. Less depreciation, the net amount will be returned for building also. Yeah, for all the fixed assets, if there is depreciation, we need to deduct. Okay. Then, if we have purchased any asset, if that building one more building they have. Uh, Uh, built then we need to add that one addition additions additional purchasing of furniture or uh, building how this they can find out no how from the receipts and payments account if there is any purchases that will be added along with that particular asset okay the net on, net amount only will be shown on the outer column okay then the adjustment items any We will leave with this asset side. Liability side, what we need to write 
liabilities first any bank overdraft if cash at bank is not given bank overdraft is given that will be the liability here bills receivable then bills payable uh, that salary debt as credit as will not come okay because it is not for profit organization there is no trade purchasing selling is not available okay bank overdraft now the here uh, let me uh, prepaid expenses outstanding expenses outstanding expenses is a liability isn't it so we have to write on the liability side any outstanding expenses all outstanding expenses okay then prepaid expenses is an asset so prepaid expenses will come on the asset side then accrued income but not received it is asset isn't it accrued income but not received will be coming in the asset side then income received in advance any income received in advance advance is the liability that we have to show we have to show on the liability side then any specific fund that we have learnt now isn't it that uh, specific fund will be appearing on the liability side specific fund then we should add the income received then less expenses related to that specific fund then any specific fund investment that will appear on the asset side specific fund investment then closing stock the materials for the sports materials that closing stock of sports materials stationery whatever it is okay maybe sports materials or stationery or any other materials okay everything will be coming to the asset side okay i think that's all all the items that we have learned now next uh, class we will learn that uh, comprehensive problems now i will explain the exercise that you have to do i think you have completed the exercise up to 12 isn't it 13 i will explain to you 13 how the following item items appear in the final accounts of tutukudi young pioneers association there are 100 members in the association each paying each paying 25 rupees as annual subscription by the end of the year 10 members had not paid their subscription but four members had paid for the next year in advance here final account so both the accounts both that income and expenditure account then the balance sheet you have to show okay if they give like this members and each one's annual subscription what we should do we should multiply this one okay 100 into 25 how much you will get 2500 this one only will be coming in the income and expenditure account how we should write actually we have received by the end 10 members had not paid their subscription okay so you you can write how that uh, subscription annual subscription 100 members into 25 2500 but we need to calculate how much how many members didn't pay and how many members paid for the next year here 10 members have not paid for the subscription isn't it so 10 into 25 250 that is outstanding subscription so how much they might have paid 2250 subscription received 2250 add outstanding subscription 
So outer column we have to write 2500. Okay. Then in the balance sheet. Balance sheet only this two will come. How much? This one outstanding subscription. It is asset. Okay. Four members pay, paid for the next year in advance. This is the liability. Four into 25, 100. That is the liability. Understood? Then the 14th exercise. How will the following appear in the final accounts of Marthandam Women Cultural Association? This one today what we have learned. Okay. Stock of sports materials on 1st April 2018. Stock sports materials purchased. Stock of sports materials on 31st March. Very easy one. Final accounts they have asked. So both we need to prepare that right. In the books of Markanda Women Cultural Association. Income and expenditure account for the year ended. What is the year ended? 31st March 2019. Then which side we need to write expenditure debit side okay sports materials consumed you should write then down opening stock 16,000 add purchases this one okay then 10 lakh we will get sorry 1 lakh we will get minus closing stock 10,000 so 90,000 will come in the outer card okay then balance sheet what we need to write this are stock of sports materials okay Then, next one, how will the following appear in the final accounts of Veda Renyan Sports Club? Here, opening stock given, purchases, the bats and balls. Okay, then sale of old bats and balls. This will appear in the income side. Okay, then closing stock given. Here, this one will appear in two places. So, how we will write income and expenditure account? Two bats and balls consumed. Opening stock, add purchases, less closing stock, outer column, we should write the amount. Then balance sheet, asset side, so, sorry, asset side here, this one, stock, closing stock of bats and balls. Then this one, sale of old bats and balls in the income and expenditure account, credit side, income side, by sale of old bats and balls. Okay, we see only everything. Okay, then the last one, one, sixteenth one. Show how the following items appear in the income and expenditure account of C Card e Singers Association. Stock of stationery, purchase of stationery, stock of stationery, closing, opening, add purchases, less closing. Only in the income and expenditure account. Like this, they may ask for two marks. Or one mark also they can ask. Okay, they can give this one and they can uh, give the answer, two, three answers. You can select and write. There in the rough column itself, we can add and check, isn't it? All these very simple questions. The next one, Chennai Tennis Club had match fund showing credit balance 24,000 first year. This one, that, that, which one, match fund. That specific fund, okay. Credit balance 24,000 received to the fund. 26,000 match expenses 33,000 how these items will appear in the final accounts so here final accounts it is uh, that the fund will appear in the balance sheet okay so we need to uh, prepare the balance sheet asset side anything will come no isn't it match fund on the liability side you start okay uh, match fund 24,000 Add the receipt to the fund, 26,000. Less add and write, then write the next line you write. Less match expenses, 33,000. Write the net amount on the outer column. Okay. Then, next one. How will the following appear in the final accounts of Parikudi Sports Club for the year ending 31st March 2019? Tournament fund 90,000, fund investment, interest received on tournament fund, donation to tournament fund, tournament expenses. This one another fund, their match fund is also the same calculation but one or two items more given here. Okay, so balance sheet, 
in the books of Karekudi Sports Club balance sheet as on 31st March 2019. So, liability side we should write, isn't it? Uh, tournament fund. Then, this one will appear on the asset side. Okay. Then, interest received. We should add along with the tournament fund. Donation, donation to tournament fund. Add less tournament expenses. You will get. Okay. Net amount. Then, the next one. I am explaining and giving. You have to do all these problems. Okay. Then, get compute capital fund of CLM Sports Club. Last week I have learned to you know calculation of opening capital fund. 1 for 2019. Opening. Okay. Then, particulars. Sports equipment, computer, subscription outstanding, subscription received in advance, price fund, price fund investment, cash in fund, cash in fund. You know, you have to write balance sheet. Okay, balance sheet as on 1st April 2019. First you write all the things that will come on the asset side. What? Sports equipment, computer. Then subscription outstanding, asset. Subscription received in advance, liability. Price fund, liability. Price fund investment, asset. Cash in hand asset, this one asset. Find out the difference and write as capital fund balancing figure. Okay, that is the one. Students, you have to do seven problems, okay, from uh, 13 or 13 onwards, 13 to 19, you have to do all these problems, okay, do and uh, send it to me, otherwise keep in the classwork notebook itself, maintain the classwork notebook, that is what our principal has asked every students to Maintain ours. I told that already we are maintaining that class of notebook. Everyone is doing the problem, uh, the homework what I am giving to them. So do it and uh, maintain it. Okay. Keep it neat. Uh, as soon as you come to school, the first day itself, I will ask for your notes. So that time don't say any excuse. Okay, student. Please every day you do your work. Thank you, students.